Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. So, this should be the final episode before we start the siege of Telmberg. And um, we're on the hunt for cockerel potions in this episode. We've got to uh, we've got to find and buy as many as we can, and what we can't buy we'll go ahead and make. Uh, as well as we have to get a, a fella in Sasau to join us uh, to help build a, 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 sea, a uh, trebuchet. Um, there are someone's head in that window over there. So we're going to stop by the potion maker here and see if he's got any real fast. We're in Rute, by the way. And then we'll head to Sasau after this. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy, the apothecary. Good Hopefully he has a, a decent amount because I really don't feel like making any more. Let's uh, let's talk training. Would you teach me more? Certainly. I don't know if we'll be able to learn much. I'd like to hone my. First, you have to have. Yeah, some... we can't. <clears throat> we literally just learned uh, the. Uh, well, I'll think it over. Uh, I guess we'd say beginner advanced. So, no, not training. Let's talk trade. <laughs> Cockerel potions. What is a bard potion? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, loosens the tongue and lowers inhibitions. Okay. Bowman's Brew. That might be nice to have. Uh, Rage. Buck's Blood Potion. There's a lot of potions that I don't have. Oh, he's got seven. So we'll take all of those. Yep, let me take every one of those. Digestive Potion. Uh, soothes your stomach in cases of food poisoning and overeating. There's so many. Eases aches of bones and joints. Increases agility and defense by five points. So many that you would never even know. Um, is there anything I can actually sell this guy? I could sell him beer. I don't think we need any of that. Uh, we could sell him these mushrooms. They're about gone anyways. I'll just try to get rid of some things real fast. Uh, we also need to buy a kit while we're here. They can kind of help... Grasses and herbs. Have I completed this one? I don't know. Hair pelts we can sell. Um, the mead we can sell. We don't need that. Don't need the moonshine. What else do we have? Spirits we can sell. Unknown potion. I don't know what that does. Wine we can sell as well. And wild boar's tusk. We'll keep that just in case. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. What is this up here? Outer garment. Do we have anything for an outer garment? Do not know. Bassinet. We need to put that bassinet back on as well. Go ahead and get that, uh... Wait a minute. What happened? Yeah, let's go ahead and keep that on. Okay. Uh, whoops. Nope. We need to check basket and haggle that deal. We're actually selling him let's talk about the price. quite a bit, so let's go ahead and haggle it so we can get a little more out mm. of him. Well, we're trading more than selling. All right. Seven so. cockerel potions for all that we just gave him, and then we get 80 back. We're going to try to get 90 back if we can. Uh, let's try to get 100. I, for that amount, I can be persuaded. Nice. Good. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate that. Okay, so now we have, uh, we've got 20 on the horse, so we've got 32, so that's pretty nice. Um, we're hungry. We need to find something to eat at some point. Let's go ahead and go to the garment person and see if I can get them to fix my garments, which I think is right down here somewhere. Uh, we'll get our garments fixed so we look nice. Probably instead of uh, getting them to fix them, we'll just buy some things from her that we can fix them ourselves. Uh, let's talk trade. Do you have any repair things? It doesn't look like you do, which is... Oh, a tailor's kit. Here we go. Let's buy a tailor's kit from you. Uh, one will be fine. Check the basket. I'm just going to go ahead and buy it outright. And then I'm going to try to fix my own clothes. So, uh, other tailor's kit. Yep, fix. Too damaged, too damaged, too damaged, did nice. Alright, well how much is it going to cost for you to fix them then? And I'll just, uh, I'll keep the kit anyways. Take care. 
Can you not? Maybe you can't fix them. How about you? Can you fix them? Yeah, you can fix them. God grant you health. Yes, God grant you health as well. About repairs. Select all. And close the deal. Fix all that stuff for me, sir. Now, I want to put all that on. Why does it still have an X over it? Does that not mean that it's, uh, that it's ruined? My shirt from Stephanie, do I still have it? I don't even see it. Yeah. All right, whatever. Um, let's do this then. Let's go. Let's go out here. Let's go to. This stuff's not gonna show up in my. Actually. Yeah, that's on. Maybe that's armor that we have to fix. Uh, so an armor would probably need to do that. Uh, there should be an armor right here somewhere as well. This might be the armor here. Armor Smith, shop guard. Okay, Armor Smith. You, can you repair my armor? I bet you are. Select all. Yep. Thank you so much. Now, I'm looking sharp and good. And now we need to head to Sasau. So, I will be right back when we get there. And welcome back to Sasau. And we're going to go first off... And do we have a person here that sells potions? I don't know if we do or not in Sasau. Maybe I should have went ahead and went on to the monastery. We do have a person here in Alchemy. Well, it's not going to be a bench. Uh, an herbalist and another herbalist. So we got an herbalist here that may have something. So we can go up there. I can't remember where this person is that we need to actually talk to, though. Um, help Master Fafar. So, oh, Rocketeer. That's what we need to do. Find Conrad Keister. Now he's... Obviously, this person said he was um, somewhere up on a hill. But I can't remember exactly where. It says find him at the monastery. We'll have to ask around. Uh, let's go ahead and get our horse and head over to the herbalist uh elmer oh well jeez good god don't sneak up on me like that what are you doing so we need to find our way back over to the monastery and i think we got to go this way to do it there was a uh, trader right there which we might could find a little bit but i'm not really sure oh i went the wrong way Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Let's go across the big bridge. So, we can head right up here. We'll talk to the herbalists and see if they have any cockerel potions for sale. I do want to make the other ones myself. It just takes so long to make them. Uh, I had to take a little bit of a break from it. I want to get my... There is an auto-brew function. Yeah. And I would like to get my my skill up enough to where I could actually auto-brew. Because that would be a lot a lot faster. Um, I don't have it up that high. I don't know how high we need it. I don't know how high we need it to do that. Alright, so here we are. In here is the herbalist. And it may be the person that we've already talked to. I'm not sure. That's the alchemy bench. Herbalist is down here, so let's turn around. I guess they're inside here somewhere. Oh, we're trespassing in here. That's not where we want to be, huh? I'm not exactly sure where the herbalist is. Oh, you know what? I bet it's the herbalist in the actual monastery. Uh, in which case, there's not much we can do about that. So I guess now we're just kind of looking for the... For, uh, Keister. 
Is that his name, Keister? His name is, uh, Conrad... Yeah, Conrad Kaiser. And the said he's in a, in the, in the house on the hill, and I'm assuming it's over here somewhere. Nice place. Must be in here. Well, we're not trespassing. I want to look up here and see if there's anything up here we can unlock real fast. Because we're always looking to increase our skills, and there is a chest. Now we're in a private area. But I don't think anybody's going to see us up here. And we are lockpick masters now. Nothing in here we want. Which I didn't figure there would be. Uh, we'll just jump down. Thankfully we did not break our ankle. Alright, what's this guy got to say? Can we just walk on in here? Oh, come on. What are you trying on here? What do you mean? I hope I can be of help to you tonight. I hope you can too. Look how nice we look now. Who owns this house? Whose house is this? It's our local custodians. The most esteemed Sir Sebastian. Baron von Berg. You don't think much of him, do you? You don't seem to think very much of him. Well, of course I do. A man with a nose so stuck up that it acts as a rain funnel. Can't be all bad. Hmm. What is a custodian anyway? What does the custodian do anyway? Well, he's meant to look after the local community and keep the peace. But? Well, in fact, he seems more interested in robbing everyone blind. I'm much obliged. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Don't mention it. Does Master Kaiser live here? Is this where Conrad Kieser lives? Indeed. The world-renowned Conrad Kieser. World-renowned? World-renowned. If not yet, then soon. Our Master Kieser is a mastermind. You wouldn't believe the things he comes up with. You'll be hearing more of him. You mark my words. Oh, I, I believe you. I need to speak to I him. I need to speak to him. Oh, really? Whatever for? Well, I was sent by Tobias Pfeiffer. I'm an apprentice to a new arms shipment. I won't disturb him. I was sent by Tobias Pfeiffer. Tobias Pfeiffer has sent me. He is asking Master Conrad for help with the siege of Talmberg. Hmm, must be important then. Go in. Well, I don't know how he can help from here. Here's the key. Well, he can't. Oh, thank you, sir. You look bored. You look bored. Beyond tears. How can you be bored here in Sassau? In such a holy place, filled with knowledge. Don't even talk to me about it. They won't let you touch the books. They don't want to talk to you. And when I wanted to look at the remains of St. Procopius, at least, they ran me off. Me! Like mm. some kind of thief. What good is the whole blasted monastery if I can't even do that? Yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe I could... Let's see, there's not much left of poor Procopius. Well, they say there's not much left of poor Procopius. What's that got to do with anything? I'm not blaming don't. you. It's just that only monks have access to the reliquary in the crypt. Folk were even taking relics away from St. Procopius' cave for protection before. Now no one's allowed in there. I know. But I'd never dream of doing that. I just wanted to touch them for luck. Maybe I could help Maybe you. Maybe I could help you. How? You're not planning some mischief, are you? Mm, definitely not. No, not at all. I was going to bring you something from the cave under the monastery where he spent his time. You can get in there, you could touch it for luck, and then I'd return it. Oh, now. Hmm. you do that for me? Of course. Yeah. Then I'd be very grateful to you. Okay. I have for you a bowl from the Cave of the Saint. I've got a bowl for you. Which I picked up a long time ago. A bowl? I was expecting something a little different. Behold. Ah. <laughs> Behold. Is it really from St. Procopius? <laughs> of course. Yes. Yes. From his cave. A truly astonishing place. This surely has miraculous powers. You're right. My God, you're right. 
Such holiness. That's hilarious. I'm in your debt, Henry. How can I repay you? Uh Groshen never hurt. Groshen never hurt. You've surely earned them. Here. Yeah. Need that one seventy five. Two fifty, nice. Yes. I just wanted to touch it for luck. If you took something you shouldn't have, I expect you'll put it back. Gotta be with you. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll put it back. Sure, why not? All right, so let's go ahead and go in here. <clears throat> I don't know, is it going to tell us to put it back? It might. No, I guess not. Um, well, we've got chests in here. But they're, oh. Whoa, what? <laughs> I'll talk to you for a minute. Custodian I'm Scribe. You can probably train me, huh? Where is Conrad Keyser staying? We know where he's staying. Uh, let's talk to the... Actually, let's eat something because our stomach's growling. No, I don't want to cook item. I want to eat. Well, I guess I... We don't have anything we can cook. Well, never mind, then. There's no, no food bowl around here, huh? Doesn't look like it. Excuse me, sir. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? You can let me in. Aren't you getting a bit bored here? You find it dull here. It's hell on earth, especially as escort guards. I wish we could go back to Bethlehem. Take care. Yeah, I don't know where that's at, but okay. I look pretty nice now. Gandalf? Huh. By the <laughs> horde of Joshua, you startled me. Uh, sorry? I thought you were urban. What do you want? Sir, well, Tobias sir. Fayfire, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fafar? Tobias Fafar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fafar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. Well, but that's that can't good. be done with a quill and parchment. And I can't leave here right now. Why? Why can't you leave Why here? Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little, uh, more than a little, critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. And then when mm -hmm. Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. In any case, I went to Bethlehem Castle. Okay, you were being held at Bethlehem? They locked you up in Bethlehem. <laughs> Not quite. It's a royal castle. Uh, they leave me to my own devices there. Frankly, this so-called banishment has been a bit of a blessing. I have peace and quiet to attend to my opus and a band of able assistants. Although I have lost quite a few of my patrons thanks to all this unrest. Right. What are you doing in Sassau? Why are you here in Sassau? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave. Mm hmm What are you working on? What is it you're working on, sir? Belly Fortis. A great book of war machines and weapons. My opus magnum, my legacy. 
All you have seen here are but snippets of my great work. Mark my right. words. One day, <clears throat> our whole world will be run by machines and inventions not yet dreamed of. <laughs> of course. Any day now, they'll plough our fields and milk our cattle. Uh, what did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Just <laughs> thinking aloud about uh, things for battle. Yeah, well, he's right, uh, Henry. Um, who are you working for? Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself, but I discuss the work details with Carol, the monastery's master builder. Couldn't the master be persuaded somehow? Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defense of the province is at stake. I realize that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What okay. do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could... Uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. That's a curiously interesting idea. Hmm. <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. How do I get my hands on the commission? How do I get my hands on the commission? It will be somewhere in his quarters. You need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that somehow. Right. I'll see what I can do. Okay. You really can't come with me right you really away. You can't come with me right away. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment. Okay, this, he's saying the same thing he said a minute ago. Uh, why, why can't, can't you leave, leave here? That's a... And it might... There... Hmm. What are you doing, Sasso? I just want to exhaust yeah, all these dialogue yeah. options real quick. Can I help you escape? Could I help you escape, perhaps? Who says I want to? But you said you couldn't leave, sir. Young man, I can't leave because I gave my word I'd help with the building of the monastery here. And mm -hmm. my word is my bond. I have no intention of sneaking away like some criminal. Could I not pay you off? Could I not just pay off the master builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction. As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah. As long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes. What are you thinking? Mm-hmm. Thanks for the chat. Thanks for the chat, sir. <laughs> You're most welcome. I always enjoy a good chat. I bet you do. Okay, so we're in dialogue here. Um, let's learn about this guy. Conrad Kaiser. 1366 to circa 1405. Conrad Kaiser of Itchstadt was a military engineer, a supporter of King Wenceslas IV, and the author of Bella Fortis, a manual on the military arts, which is the oldest example of Craig's Butch to appear in the Bohemian territories. Written in the Latin hexameter, the book consists of 140 incomprehensible texts. Uh, oh, 140 parchments with somewhat incomprehensible text. It is accompanied by elaborate drawings of Kaiser himself. The book must have been very popular at the time of its writing, as testified by the fact that more than 30 manuscripts have survived to this day. Conrad Kaiser's loyalty to the Bohemian king is attested is attested to uh, by the number of drawings in the Göttingen, uh, Göttingen, Göttingen manuscript, in particular a depiction of the king's royal tent with a number of the symbol typical for Wenceslas IV, such as a torse and the letter W. The main text is prefaced by a prologue and a long dedication to the king of Germany, uh, Rupert III of the Palatinate, Palatinate, which is possibly an attempt to integrate himself into the services. Unfortunately, we will never know why he did not dedicate his work to Wenceslas IV. 
The ten chapters of Bella Fortis are devoted to weaponry, siege warfare, and the use of various techniques for besieging towers and castles. They also include prescriptions for making medicine and instructions for preparing baths, information about torture devices, and even an illustration and de description of a chastity belt. The book concludes with an ep epicidian, a personal elegy, written by Kaiser himself with his portrait and personal details. Uh, parents and date of birth, as well as a horoscope from May 1402. Bella Fortis is an adroit compilation of military engineering and technology well known in Kaiser's epoch. The author based his book on various previous works, including De Mirabiliabus Mundi and Liber Ignium by Marcus Gracius. Some parts are also based on personal experience. And I like how he's like turning this way, but his feet are walking that way. I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, uh, yep, we know learned about him. What else is it going to have us learn about? I'm sure something else is going to pop up. Maybe not. I'd like to look in these chests, but he's here and he'll see us, so we can't do that. Uh, we can not sleep in his bed and save, which I would like to do as well, but can't do that either. All right, well, let's go ahead and walk out here. I'm going to go upstairs real fast to see if there's anything up here to look at. We do have a chest up here, a couple chests we can lockpick real fast. At least we can gain the the uh, skills from that. And we'll go ahead and look in them, see if there's anything in there we can use. Like this Groshen right here that we'll take. Fan braces. Some nice clothes. We might have to come back up here and steal some, some clothes later on. I would like some nice clothes, honestly. Uh, some grush in here as well, which we will also take. Oh, shoot, somebody seen me. Sorry. You can have it back. Got a very hard chest right there, which would be even nicer. There's a lot of stuff up here, actually. Got a little lockbox here. I guess he really doesn't care. Mm, I want to look in that bookshelf so bad. Nice, look at his nice bed. He's even got a, a toilet with a door. Man, you guys are living high and mighty. Yeah, we may end up getting in trouble for, for taking that, uh... Taking that stuff. Oh, we haven't read this one yet. I'll go ahead and take that. And I want to look in here real fast. Nice. Dried cheese, dried venison, dried venison. Yeah, don't care about none of that. Okay. So, we need to go steal something from the monastery. Arrange for Conrad to leave the construction site and head for Townburg. Optional steel master builder Carol's commission. And make sure Carol is short of money for wages. Wouldn't both of those kind of go along in the same thing? Um... He said, "Wait till evening. What time is it? It is evening, so he should be he should be at the uh, tavern right now, actually. So let's go see if we can steal his commission. And this is his house. Oh, nice. He's got little models here. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Interesting." The funny thing about this uh, this this monastery is it looks today in present day exactly as it does in this game. Like they they just have the scaffolding in the same place and everything. Like it hasn't changed at all. Uh, we're not gonna steal a communion chalice or anything. I'm not sure exactly where this is supposed to be. Uh, he may have it on him. Okay, maybe in here. Okay, we got that. Carol's commission, nice. And while we're looking here, let's go ahead and look in this chest as well. Uh, he doesn't have anything in there. All right, let's run back, give this back to him real fast. And then we got to bring it back before that guy gets back home. And that he could come home really at any time. I assume it'll probably be after dark when he gets home, but you really never know.
Uh, what else did he want us to do? Make sure Carol was short of money for wages. Uh, we might can do that. We're going to we're gonna go here first. If we still have the option, we'll go down and play dice with him. I know what it's wanting us to do. It's wanting us to play dice and beat him, but um, I'm not very good at dice, so I don't really want to do that. Yeah, 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 me too. Where's this guy at? Where'd, it, where'd he go? Oh, here he is. Kaiser! I have the commission. God bless you. What troubles you? You really can't come with me? I've got, got that commission. That commission. Not so oh, you ain't got to yell at him. For heaven's Jeez. sake. Show it to I know, right? The very thing. Go to the Sassau scribe and say to him, the fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. Then he'll do as you ask. Is that a password? Okay. <laughs> Just so. He insists on it. Don't forget to repeat it verbatim and aloud. Then all you have to do is take the new document to Carol and tell him a messenger brought it. All right. Okay. The fox Most isn't as clever as he thinks. Do it quickly and put the commission back immediately. Absolutely, no sir. Fool. If he can't find it, he'll put two and two together when you bring him the new document. And the game will be up. Okay. Alright, so we gotta hurry. Obviously. Now, where is the scribe? Uh, he's gonna be down there in the actual city, probably. The fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. <clears throat> I have to remember that, because I guarantee it's gonna give us a few different options. And if we get the wrong option, then we're going to ruin, we're going to screw it all up, which is typically what I do, so. Where's my horse? Let's ride there. Yeah. The fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. Where exactly is a scribe? I don't know if I've talked to this guy before. I'm sure I probably have. Yeah. Um. I think it would be B, yeah. right? A would be going towards the bar. Yeah. Nope, that's the bar right there. Right, let me let me check real fast. I want to make sure I'm going the right the right place. Okay, yeah. So we are going to A. Yeah. 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 Hopefully he's still awake. Aha, here he is. I wonder if he can train me. He probably can. Uh, I have a message for you. Hmm? Hmm? The fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. <laughs> the ferret outsmarted the fox. The fox isn't half as clever as it thinks. What? Uh, the password? Um, the password? About the fox? What in heaven's name are you blabbering about? Comrade Kieser sent me. Why the okay. hell didn't you say so? That's 
He deliberately lied to me to make me look stupid. Well, never mind. What do you want? That's funny. <laughs> I've got this document here, and I, I need to have a different one drawn up with um, the same signature and seal. So Conrad is still up to his old tricks. Give him my greetings. Let's That's see it funny. Then. Hmm. All right. Give me an hour. I hope I won't have problems on your account. No, 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 of course not. Okay, so are we done here? Get the commission to the scribe. Pick up the forged document from the scribe. I guess I have to wait one hour, and then he'll finish it. Alright, well, uh, let me look in your bookshelf. Yep, I've already seen everything. I have to eat something. Gosh. Yeah, yeah, I know you're hungry. I... Up with the hunger. I know, I know. Let's wait one hour. We'll eat as soon as we're done, I promise, Henry. We're about to hurry. It's getting pretty late in the evening, actually, and I bet you that uh, he's going to be coming back home pretty soon. Okay, so he should be done now. Where have you been? You went outside? Really? Uh, okay, just... Where are you going? No, don't go to sleep. Please don't go to sleep. What are you doing? You're gonna ruin this for me. He's going to freaking sleep. There we go. Jeez. Is it Is the document ready? Here you are. And pass on my best to the old dragon. Yes, I will. Alright, we gotta go. Got to go, gotta go. Do we have anything here that we can actually look in while we're... Nope, nope, no time. Gotta go. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, yep. Alright, so now what do we have to do? We have to... Let's see. Uh, show the forgery to Master Builder Carol. Put back on the original commission. Okay, show the forgery to Master Builder Carol. That's yeah. the next thing we gotta do. It's optional, but we're gonna do that because that's part of it. We get more dialogue for doing stuff like that, so that's what we wanna do. And then we'll put it back in his house real fast, and hopefully we can make it before he gets back home. That's the only thing I worry about because it is pretty late. Don't fall down the thing, thing. Jeez. Uh, it's pretty late, so. Yeah. Yeah, he's still at the he's still at the bar, so that's a good sign. Little does he know that I'm running right past him with forged documents. I bet you this other guy's gonna be asleep, and I probably won't even be able to wake him up. Henry's come to see us. Welcome, Henry. Uh, looks like he's in bed, yeah. Yep. Will he wake up? Maybe he will. God be with you, lad. Yeah, what good. Can I do for you? Uh, I thought we were supposed to show him the documents. Or am I supposed to show the documents to the Master Builder? I thought he was the Master Builder. I guess not. Um, wait a minute. Let me, let me see. Show the forgery to Master Builder Carol. Put back the original commission. Oh, I have to put back the original commission and then show the forgery to Master Builder Carol. That's right. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, real fast, while we have a minute, let's look at these documents. Carol's Commission. I, Peter of Zbizhov, being the abbot of the monastery of St. Procopus in Sassau, do hereby issue to Master Builder Carol Parlor this commission to conduct building works at the monastery and the church th thereat 
to wit, to ensure construction which shall be executed in such a manner as to give glory to God Almighty and shall serve to reflect the splendor of his heavenly kingdom here on earth. And the forgery. I, Peter, Bishop's abbot of the Monastery of St. Procubus in Sassau, do hereby consent that Master Engineer Conrad Kaiser may interrupt his work on construction engines for the monastery and may depart from the monastery to, to lend his skills to Sir Divish of Townburg and aid his endeavors to besiege Townburg Castle, which has fallen to the enemy. Master Conrad shall return within one month. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's real fast, we'll put this back in here and hopefully not get caught. It doesn't look like he's on his way quite yet, so I think we're okay. Okay, phew, I've seen that statue there, I thought it was him. Now it went right here. And we'll put it back. Uh, forged leave of absence. We want this one. Okay. And then we'll go talk to him with the, uh, the forged one. Alright. Nobody knows anything. No one's worse for the wear. Let's get our horse. I love to get something to eat. I'm starting to I get know, hungry. I know you're hungry. I know, I know, I know. You're extremely hungry, and you're probably going to start taking damage eventually if you don't eat something. But this is very important, Henry. Very, very important indeed. And it is now dark. I haven't slept in a while either. Glad he's decided to jump all of a sudden. Alright, well here we are. And where's this fellow at? Right here. I am at your service, sir knight. Good. A messenger brought a dispatch. A messenger brought a dispatch for you. To the hand of a charge to be of assistance. Permission to leave Sassau? Hmm. How very convenient for you. The hand of mm -hmm. fate? We'll see what fate brings. I have an authorization letter of my own from the abbot. And if your letter of patent is fake, you'll be in trouble. Come with me. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? See you later. All right, well, let's go then. Let's see what you got. Am I going to have to walk all the way back over there? I guess so. That's fine. We'll follow you. It's going to take a bit to get there, but that's okay. I could tackle him and then like slit his throat and be like, well, don't matter now, does it? Because you're dead in the middle of the road. But I'm not a bad man. I won't do that. I only kill when absolutely necessary. Gosh, my stomach is growling so much. Hey, uh, on the way, can we run by like a McDonald's or something? I'm pretty hungry. That would be great, thanks. Ah, cook, cooking pot. Nope. Nope, I thought I saw one, but it's not there. Shame. Vegetable soup sounds pretty good right about now. Nearly there. What a run. I'll beat you to your house. Ready, set, go! I'm winning, I'm winning! Come on, you can do it.
I win. Why'd you give up, did you? Uh, okay. Slam the door in my face next time. Where are your manners, good sir? Mm-hmm. Still in there, isn't it? What do you got to say for yourself, huh? It goes against the grain, but the seal and signature are genuine. Yep. Okay. Anything else? So Conrad so can Conrad leave. Conrad may leave. He can. The letter of patent is genuine, and when the abbot commands. Wonderful. I'll tell him. Take care. All right, well, let's go talk to Conrad. I mean, it's late at night, but we're going to go ahead and talk. I love this little house over here. It just looks really cool. Nice place. Need some gardens out here make it look a little nicer, but pretty, pretty nice place. If I do say so myself. Conrad, you may leave. They're off to me! Sweet Jesus, I knew this day what? would come. What? Who is... Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door. Not now. Oh, jeez, now what? Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're after me. Who? Who's Who? after you? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course. Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of the Oh, Lord Lewis. have mercy, now, sir. He's decided to pay me back. What am I to do? Why do you think someone's after you? What makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'll go and check it out. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to it. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. We got quite a bit of stuff done in this one. I, I know, calm down. Uh, thank you for watching. We got quite a bit of stuff done. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, it helps me out a ton, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.